It seems like in all the mobile chips we see nowadays, everyone seems to have their own machine learning processor as part of the SoC. The most famous one is Apple's Neural Engine, even though everyone else has one too. But what are these machine learning processors for and why do you need one? First, I'd like to thank everyone for 500 followers and 10,000 likes. I never thought the page would be this big, so thanks to everyone who watches and follows. A lot of software on phones is reliant on machine learning models with models requiring both training and inference. Mobile phones will use these models for things like adaptive battery life, figuring out what song is playing by hearing it through the microphone, real-time captioning everything you do on your phone, holding calls for you, dimming your phone based on your background picture, call screening, speech to text, suggested apps and sharing, and the list goes on and on. A lot of the features I mentioned here are only available on Android, and sorry Apple users, but Android is just significantly more advanced in this space than iOS is. And I haven't even taken into account things like the magic eraser on the new Pixel phones. In fact, AI is now used on pretty much every mobile phone's camera system regardless of brand or operating system. I'm not going to go into how machine learning works because there are so many different kinds of machine learning, but computationally a lot of machine learning methods rely on the same mathematical functions. These functions are convolution and accumulation. They may look complicated, but what they really are is this fancy multiplication and addition. The reason why you need dedicated processors for this is simply the amount of multiplications and additions that are required. It's hard to fathom, but these machine learning models will do more calculations than everyone who watches this video has done in their entire life combined, and all in less than one second. Yay! The good part about the calculations is that not all of the calculations are dependent on each other. This allows the calculations to be parallelized, which is why machine learning specific hardware will have plenty of cores to work with and massive throughput to process data as quickly as possible. You could technically do these calculations on a CPU, but they would be significantly slower. Let me provide some context for how slow it would actually be. For the machine learning models that I make for image processing, on average the lightweight models take around 1.5 days to train on my RTX 3090, which has machine learning acceleration, and around 55 seconds to make a prediction based on that model. If training on my CPU, which has 64 cores and 128 threads, it takes about 8 days to train and 10 minutes to make a prediction. Now imagine doing this on a mobile CPU, which has 32 times less threads available and also running multiple models at the same time for the countless number of machine learning applications on cell phones. Yeah, that's a big <gasps> Now of course mobile phone machine learning models probably aren't that large and computationally intensive, but it just shows how much of a difference application specific hardware can make in terms of compute time. With everything becoming more and more reliant on machine learning these days, you'll need a machine learning specific processor to take full advantage of these AI features. 